Process Schema Editor gives us the capability to visually map that most common path through the process. And we can first do that by allowing the software to take what it believes to be the most important milestone events. So when I click Select Default Milestones, what's happening here is the tool is using advanced statistical analysis, specifically picking the events which are most reliably and commonly occurring at the same point in our process. So it looks like it picked 10 events as milestones, which is great. We can always customize this, so I have some others I'd like to assign here. Let's include in this model where claims are being denied, where estimates are being prepared, and maybe where fraud checks are being done. So now I've added a few more events. Let's have it generate the schema for us. So this is showing us that most common schema or path based on the milestones that essentially I said I care about. Okay, so we can see how claims are flowing through our process. And the nice thing is that this is not just a static Visio diagram. When I choose to save this, it now becomes a monitoring tool. It's telling me the number of cases, and you can see that via the thickness of the line, the number of claims which have gone one transition relative to another. And I can mouse over and see the number of transitions, you know, which is a more common path versus, versus others. Or if I want to look at this based not on the volume of claims which have gone one transition versus another, but based on the amount of time spent in the process, I can change the metric here and allow the line thickness to now represent the amount of time we're spending in certain areas of our workflow. Okay, so we can see what the average duration is between one step or another, and where are we spending the bulk of our time, where are claims possibly backing up due to the amount of time being spent in certain areas. And we can take this even a step further and start to animate this diagram and visualize the claims as they flow through our process. So when I turn this on, what we're going to see is all of the circles are going to go through. Each one of these represents a claim or a group of claims. We're going to see when things start to bunch up or bottleneck, essentially. As things are changing color, they're actually aging and spending more time in the process. Now I pause the animation. If anything stands out as you know, so something that, that doesn't look quite right, for instance, this one single claim that's up here right around the processor assigned event, I can actually click on this to get much more detail as to specifically is what happened with this claim, what happened in what order, what's going on, and who was associated with it so that I can drill a bit further if I'm interested. But the idea here is that we can get a very, very quick look at where claims are starting to slow down, back up, age within our process, and where things are grouping up and starting to bottleneck. Right? and we can start to focus on these areas to improve our overall efficiencies.